Hey, hey everybody, it's Friday. It's time for Facebook Friday. I'm running just a couple of minutes late. I had to change host codes real quick right before we went live because I think the one that I had is about to expire. So I created a new one and I think I got it updated everywhere. But anyways, we shall see. All right, let's see if I can find us. Make sure I'm in the right group. Yep, okay. Hopefully you guys have had a great week. It's September 1st. September 1st is probably my favorite day of the whole year. It means that summer is over and it's my birthday month. So I always love September. Now I know September isn't officially over, but in my mind, September 1st, that means it's over. And so you can be certain that there have been lots of pumpkins and fall leaves on this studio table this week, for sure. All right, good, I see you guys jumping on. Um, so this week we're using something that is on, um, that is out of stock. I hate doing that, but I, this is all I have planned. <laughs> so it's either this or nothing. So we are going with this time together. This is a really cute bundle um, it, available in the annual catalog. It has some great dyes. I have tape stuck to mine. You'll see why in a little while. Um, oh, I know what I was going to say. I don't know why I was thinking something was over there. Uh, <laughs> my brain is in a weird place today. Um, it will be back in stock the week of September 11th. It's scheduled to be back in stock the week of January. Oh my gosh, not January, September 11th. So a little over a week. Um, I haven't seen very many samples with this, so I'm hoping you guys enjoy today. I came up, I have four different things. We'll make three of them today, and I posted one yesterday. Um, I am going to flip around. I have a whole bunch of things to tell you, to show you, to, you know, all the things. So let me um, flip this camera around. And there we go. The first thing I'm going to do is tell you, you know, I feel a little bit unprepared because I don't have anything printed out for two of the things I need to tell you. Um, first of all, this catalog finally goes live on September 6th, which is Wednesday. Seems like a weird day for it to go live. Let me double check. I think I've checked this several times. Yeah, September 6th, so Wednesday. In the middle of that, or surrounding that, September 5th, 6th, and 7th next week, I'm doing my online BOGO sale. My online BOGO sale is where I take pictures of every single retired product that I have. It has a price on it. And you can get it for free with an equal online order. Um, it's first come, first serve. It's very chaotic. And sometimes things don't work out the way we wanted them to work out. 95% um, of everything ends up where it needs to go and everybody gets what they want. But it's a chaotic week. I'm actually kind of not looking forward to it. I do want to pass on all my retired stuff and get it out of here. But it is, um, it's kind of crazy for me. But just know that's coming. On Monday, I'll send out an email with the details and I'll post it on my blog. So that'll be Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday um, on this Facebook group. I don't create a new group. I just do it right here in this Facebook group, okay? The other thing I wanted to tell you are paper and ribbon shares from this catalog. Did I not have, I guess last time I just showed you the papers and I put them all away. So I don't have anything to show you, but paper shares, that's where you get either a half or a quarter sheet of all the new designer series papers. And I had a post-it note here too of the prices on it. And, oh yeah, here it is. And a yard of each of the new ribbons from this new catalog. Um, those, I'm closing registration for those on Tuesday, September 5th. I'll order all of it on the morning of the 6th. So if you would like in on the paper and or ribbon shares, um, make sure you register this weekend. Um, on today's PDF, if you go to my blog, pinkbucker.com, there are some links here for you for all these things that I'm talking to you about, okay? There's no link for the BOGO sale, but it does say um, the dates. And here's a link for the product shares. 
Um, Club Create, this will be the last time I tell you about Club Create for this month, for September. It's Christmas cards, merry and bright. Um, the deadline is the 7th, which will be Thursday. And that means next Friday, I'll show you the Club Create kit for October. How is that even possible? October. All right, so if you wanna um, subscribe for Club Create for September, you have until Thursday. I had to think, Thursday. Okay, um, Paper Pumpkin, I got my Paper Pumpkin kits. Oh, I was gonna show you guys some things I got in the mail. I'll do that in a second. Um, I have a couple of extras of the August kit. If you didn't get your kit and you need one, let me know, I've got a few extras. Um, it's cute. It is um, Meaningful Flowers. It's really pretty. It reminds me of that celebration set we had a long time ago. Um, honestly, I have not been paying attention to Paper Pumpkin the last month. I've been overwhelmed with other things, but this is really cute. Two, two little stamp sets and a pretty peacock ink. So if you need this month's Paper Pumpkin, let me know. Um, just send me an email. Guys, um, if you need anything from me, email is the way to go. I um, don't remember if I get a Facebook message, it pops up and disappears. So if you ever need anything from me, please email me. Don't text, instant message, Facebook message, direct message, email. Everything for my Stampin' Up! business has to go through my email, okay? Okay, um, let's stop right there because I wanna show you guys some things I got in the mail. Um, I got this, and Cliffy, I apologize, it's been sitting um, on my desk, and I did not give it the attention it needed. <laughs> I was trying to get ready to go out of town, and then when I opened it this week to really look at it, I saw that you had sent me your um, Taco Fiesta stamp insert to sign. So I will get that in the mail to you tomorrow. But she also, Cliffy sent me all these cute little treats, and something smells really good in here. I haven't completely opened it because I want you guys to see. Look how cute these little towels with the cactus. You guys have found, I love the pink. You guys have found the most fun taco things ever. Ever, ever. Um, let's see, this one. I mean, Cliffy, you really, you really made it specific to me because it's got the black and white gingham, which you know I love. It's got pink and it's got my stamp set, so cute. Look at that, and she said that this was from Starbucks and it looks like Fiesta. How cute, that is very cute. Starbucks has the most beautiful gift cards. This is a really cool card. I'm gonna put that in my fun folds pile and we'll case that. Um, there is a box here that, Looks like it got a little bit beat up, but it's still very pretty. She had all this cute pink um, crinkle stuff in here too. Some of you guys just amaze me with your, um, what in the heck? I have not seen this, how cute. It's it's um, soap for the, for the sink. I'm gonna put this in the bathroom, looking sharp. How cute, that's what I'm smelling. So delicious. Some of you are just like, you are so good at gift giving. This is so cute, oh my gosh, what's in here, look. Okay, whoa, that is amazing. That is totally amazing. Oh, one of the little cactus lip balms. I love these, they're so cute. Uh, Cliffy, thank you so, so much. It was very sweet of you to send me all of this, to make all of this for me, wow. I'm, I mean, that is so fun. I'm gonna put it up on a shelf and display all your hard work. Um, I got another, I got some other things. Let me show you. Um, this card is from Chris and I have this rustic crate on my list for Facebook Fridays in the next few weeks. So be on the lookout for that. And I mean, oh, fall. It's just, I love this paper. I love the stamp set. Very, very cute. This is one of those, what do we call these step cards? They can go like that or they can go like that. Very cute, Chris. Um, I got a, um, oh, Laura on my team at our team meeting gave me this cute card. And she gave me a cute little uh, housewarming gift. So that is a, that's a pretty easy fun fold, but it's so cute. Thank you, Laura. I love it. Laura is a beautiful stamper. 
Um, and then this box came from Judy. Look how cute. She made like a, um, oh, a poncho. <laughs> so cute. And she said, I can't believe all the taco things there are out there. She sent me taco glasses. And <laughs> that's so cute. Marker tequila shot glasses. Avocados. Look, Taco Tuesday. That's what I wish my stamp set was called, Taco Tuesday. And this right here is hilarious. It's a pool float that's a taco. And we're having a pool put in right now. So that will be the very first float that goes into our pool. The kids were like, oh my gosh, where did you get that, Mom? Like, it was, it's mine. Don't touch. <laughs> Thank you, Judy. Thank you, all of you. You're so sweet. You're so generous with the things that you sent me. Send me. I really do appreciate it. Okay. I have a couple more things to show you and then we will get started. Um, this morning I posted my um, Halloween class. You guys, I was not gonna do a Halloween class this year. Um, I have so many things this month. I didn't know how I was gonna squeeze it in. Um, my husband went out of town for two nights this week and I was able to get in here late at night, design the class, get it all ready. Um, so you can thank my husband for going out of town. <laughs> I got the class done. It's the Bag of Bones bundle. Um, in the Them Bones Designer Series paper, there are five treat boxes and one card. Um, this, yes, I, I know Bag of Bones is unorderable right now, but it is also due in week after next. Um, if you, it's actually gone unorderable twice during pre-order, so that makes me nervous. So if you want this class to go with the, this bundle, my classes always have several options. You get it with, this, with the bundle or without the bundle. If you want to guarantee that you get your class kit with the bundle, make sure to register ASAP because as soon as those are in stock, I'm going to order for everybody who's registered. Um, and then I'll wait until the closing date to order, um, hopefully, and watch stock. Make sure I may have to turn that registration option off if they go out of stock again. Remember the witch hat last year? <laughs> the witch hat punch? I mean, we just really like our Halloween stuff, don't we? Um, it sold out and never came back, so we don't want that to happen. We want to make sure we get what we want. But anyway, you'll get, there's a lot of things in this class. Quarter pack of paper, pack of the glow-in-the-dark embellishments, a bolt of ribbon, a sheet of the glow-in-the-dark paper, six projects, PDF. Um, the options are all listed on my blog today on this PDF. If you will click this link right here, it will take you to the official details. Um, and, um, you know, register sooner rather than later. All right. Um, let's see. I have that. What else? I'm kind of like all over the place today. Oh, oh no. We have, it's the first, so we have a new all-star tutorial bundle. This month we're doing Zoo Crew, and I keep calling it Zany Zoo. Zany Zoo is the stamp set, isn't it? Or is it the paper? Either way, you know what I'm talking about. It's the super cute little animals from the annual catalog. 12 tutorials, um, all by different uh, Stampin' Up! demonstrators around the world. Um, and we each make a project, film the video, and type up the supply list and the measurements for both metric and imperial. You can get this whole PDF for free if you spend $50 with me online um, in September. You can buy it in my PDF store for $15, or you can um, join my team. They get all my PDFs for free. I always go over this morning, I added three new PDFs to our team page. So um, if you're a subscriber, I emailed it to you this morning. Um, the subscription is closed right now, but if you are already a subscriber, make sure you look for it. And that's my project this month. Okay, we've got that out of the way. And I think the only thing left, oh, wait, no, wait, wait, there's more. Um, Stampin' Up! made an announcement this week that blew my mind, basically. <laughs> they have five new designer series paper packs coming out on the 6th. They are not in any catalogs. They're only gonna be online. We didn't have access to these for pre-order. We just found out about it. It's like a big surprise, so I don't have them to show you. Um, but just know that on the 6th, if you go to order, look for um, those new exclusive online papers. They'll be while supplies last as always. Um, and I will hopefully have them next week to show you. 
their Christmas paper. There's some that coordinate with the um, transparent flowers. What is that? Um, translucent. I can't remember the stamp set, but they coordinate with things in the holiday catalog. So FYI, more fun things to get. All right, I think I cleared the desk. Um, door prize from last week, Christine P Peller. Christine has won the So Refreshing Bundle. Thank you for sharing my video, Christine. I do appreciate it. If you'll message me your mailing address, I will get this out to you early next week. Um, this week, I'm giving away two host sets, Night of Flight. This set, if you haven't looked at samples, like to me, this, I just kind of didn't really even look at it in the catalog, but now that I'm seeing the samples online, it is stunning. Um, Stampin' Through the Catalog, that's an Instagram account run by three of Stampin' Up's concept artists. They featured the stamp set this week, and I just literally could not believe the beautiful things that they posted. So, um, Night of Flight, check it out. It's in the back of the catalog. You can get it uh, with your Stampin' Rewards. It's beautiful. But I'll, but I'll be giving away two of them next week. So all you have to do is share the video. Let me know that you shared in the comments. Okay, I think we are ready. Let's see, did I miss anything? Nope. Okay, all right, let's get started. Oh, yes, I did, I did miss something. I gotta tell you about Facebook Friday. If you're new here, Facebook Friday is every Friday at two o'clock. I take one product and make three projects with it. And as I mentioned at the top of the video, we are featuring Time Together, this cute little hourglass set. Um, the make and takes, the projects, I'll, I should say, um, are free. I will send them to you as a little project kit in the mail with an online order between now and Monday at midnight. The minimum order is $35 before tax and shipping, and you need to use the host code. Now, I had posted a different host code yesterday. That host code will count too, but I'm going to close that host code today. Um, because I think it's about to expire anyway. Um, so either host code will, will work when you put your order in, but this is the new host code, and I have hopefully updated the PDF and my blog post, which hopefully is up. All right, and the kits will look like this. I don't do any stamping. You need to do your own stamping, but I'll send you the paper, the embellishments, the die cuts, those kind of things, you will need this stamp set and the dies. And I'm using one other stamp set, which I'll point out when we get there. All righty, let's get started. Let me grab my tray over here. Um, this stamp set caught my eye right away when the new catalog came out. It's so adorable. Um, the first card we're gonna make also features something new from the holiday catalog. We have a new set of um, de uh, decorative masks, and I love masks. And when you look at it in the catalog, you'll see it looks like it's um, one of those masks that, well, it is. It You use several masks to create a flower. And I thought that's all that was in there, but I was wrong. There are some pattern masks in there as well. And that's what we're gonna use on the background here of our card. So um, when, if you have your catalog already, make sure you look, somebody tell me what page it's on, I don't know. Um, but when you look at it truly, you think that all there is is the flower masks, but no, there are some patterns as well. Okay, um, you're, I'm gonna use post-it tape a lot today um, for the dies especially. Um, if you need some post-it tape, I have it linked on today's blog post. I'm taping my basic gray card base down to some grid paper, and then I'm gonna take my mask and tape it down on top of that. Page 47, thank you, Tony. 47, you'll find the mask in the new hol holiday catalog if you have it. All right, basic gray ink and a blending brush. We are using blending brushes on every single project today. All right, so just take your blending brush and you're gonna get your arm work out today for sure. I always start over on the side um, so that I don't get those, you know, those like hard bumps that you, that you get when you set your brush down. 
So do that on, on your scratch grid paper and then run it over your card front. Okay, and you can do it for however long you want, as dark or light as you want. And there we go. You can see my first one is real light. I needed to re-ink my ink pad. So just depending on your preference or the juiciness of your ink pad. All right, so that is that. I don't have my cover on the table today. I need to pay better attention to what I'm doing. Okay, let's stamp our hourglass. One thing I wanna warn you about this stamp is it's really easy to get um, misshapen. Uh, and then if it's misshapen when you put it on the block, then it's misshapen when you stamp it, then the die is not gonna fit around it. So I like to just set it down on the table, let it be where it needs to be, and then pick it up with my block. That way, because if I lay it down with my, you know, if I go like that, it's it's just a little bit crooked or, or it's just not right and then my die doesn't fit. So if you run into that problem, use your, um, take it off your block, lay it down, pick it up. Hopefully it's, now my eyes are playing tricks on me. Let's see, where are my dies? Before I start coloring this thing, <laughs> now it looks crooked. Let's see. You're gonna want post-it tape, I think, with this. Yeah, okay, it's good. You're gonna want post-it tape with these dies. Um, for whatever reason, especially the little banner, I could not get it to stay in place to save my life. <laughs> It just, it kept knocking out. So I really used my, um, maybe it's my plates. Maybe I need to replace my plates, but for whatever reason, I could not get it to stay, the die to stay in place. All right, so I'm stamping the sand up at the top. We've got two stamps for the top. You've got this heart shape, and then there's another one that we'll use on the third card. And then there's the little bottom part of the sand. And then it's got this, dripping sand what is the days of our lives saying um they always show a um a <laughs> hourglass at the front like sands through the what what is it there's i don't know there's a saying not that i watch days of our lives every day i would never admit to that um now you can color this right here um or you can cut out this frame and when you cut out the frame, you don't need to color the rest of it. Um, but we do need to stamp the flower and um, just making sure I didn't miss anything. We need to stamp the flower. We are gonna color this with, I'm trying to say thank you, Lisa, like sands in the hourglass. So are the days of our lives. Yes, that's, yeah, some of you will know it, some of you will not, that's okay. Maybe you're a general hospital fan. Maybe you're like, I can't believe people still watch So Barbara's fan. <laughs> I know. Um, I am using Highland Heather to color in my flower and I'm gonna do the light Highland Heather first. And then I'm gonna take my dark Highland Heather and add in some color. And I'm just kind of pulling color from the center. And then I am also gonna add a little bit of color there where the petals overlap each other. And then I'm gonna take the light and drag it out a little bit further, but I want the ends of the petals to be the lightest. So I'm gonna make sure I don't go over those again. Okay, and then these little petals are just barely folded over, so we'll add a little bit of color there too. Um, <laughs> there's a delay, there's a delay between commenting and me, so just know that I'm not ignoring you guys. Um, now I see everybody's like, hello, it's, this is the saying from Days of Our Lives, how do you not know it? Um, many of you know it, so I'm, I'm just going to say that Days of Our Lives does have some fans still out there. I think so. <laughs> All right, a little bit of dark old olive. And then, last but not least, is this banner I was telling you about. And the banner 
banner gives me all kinds of issues and I'll show you why. If you go and watch my individual recording of this project, you'll see, see me struggle with this. And I left it on the video because I know I'm not gonna be the only one <laughs> to struggle with this, okay? So first of all, you wanna make sure, lay your um, stamp down on your desk first. Let it take whatever, you know, its form. And then set your block down and pick it up. Um, the first time I did this, my banner was crooked and it took me like four tries before I realized it and had to take it off. The other thing that can confuse you is the sentiment. Um, if your banner is like this, well, no, like this, like this. If your banner is like this, you're gonna think, okay, wait a minute, something is wrong with my stamp, it's not fitting. So just flip it over and stamp and then it's a perfect fit. Time to celebrate. Happy birthday. All right, we are ready to cut everything out. Let's bring over the cut and emboss machine. And now when I am looking at my plates, I'm thinking maybe, <laughs> maybe that is the problem. Maybe it's not the dies. Maybe it's that my plates are so warped. I need to get new plates. Cause that can make a difference in your um, dies staying in place. Cause they start to get kind of bent and worn and you can replace them. They're relatively inexpensive. I like to keep a couple of new sets on hand, but I do not think I have any right now. All right, so there's the banner die and then we've got the flower die right here. Let's see, do we think, I think we can leave that one. All right, very carefully. All right. Uh-oh, I'm spilling my drink. Good thing it has a lid on it. All right, let's get all of these out of here and then we'll start putting this card together. Um, last weekend I was in Vegas for the Stampin' Up! Um, basically leadership conference and it was so good. If you guys didn't see the pictures, go back on here on Facebook and find them. We had a wonderful time. Stampin' Up! really, really put so much thought into the event and um, it was really, really good. I did some swapping, got some swap cards, got um, some training, spent time with friends. That was really nice. And we stayed somewhere called the Red Rock Resort, which is not on the Strip, and it made me not hate Vegas so much. <laughs> it wasn't as dirty feeling as the strip. I don't like the Las Vegas strip. I'm not a fan. All right, so I cut out that frame from basic black and I'm going to put dimensionals on here. They actually had some flash flooding on the strip while I was there. So people got washed away. It was really crazy. The desert flash floods, you gotta be careful. All right, I've cut out a Melon Mambo heart. Um, this heart die is in this um, Time Together die set. I'm gonna brush it with Wink of Stella to make it a little shimmery. Okay, and then we're gonna take, um, let's do our bow. I'm using the white burgundy ribbon and you want your bow to be somewhat small, not too terribly big, so kind of play around with it and you can pull those ends until it's the right size. Cut your ends at an angle. And then we'll grab some glue dots and I'm gonna put that, I'm gonna put that like this and then we'll take this one and mm, I think I need many dimensionals, but you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use this edge right here on my dimensionals like that. Do you guys use up the edges on your dimensional sheets? Don't forget, don't, you don't throw those away. You wanna use those up. All right, and then we'll get this. Now I think we're gonna need glue dots for this. We've done a few dimensionals already. So I'm gonna put about four glue dots on that and then stick it right there on top 
of that bow like that. Last but not least, I've got some metallic. Actually, they're not called metallic. They're called neutral, neutral adhesive backed sequins. We have so many sequins and dots. I cannot keep up with their names. I have to always go look it up when I'm typing the supply list. That free PDF there on my blog will have all the supplies and the measurements for all three projects if you're looking for them. Okay, there you go, guys. That's a pretty non-hard, non-difficult card. What do you think? Cute, right? That's a cute birthday card. Now, also, I want to point out that this stamp set has many um, stamp, like, um, occasion. That's the word I'm looking for. So I miss you every minute of every day. We're going to use all three of them. I love you until the end of time. Time to celebrate. Happy birthday. So if you don't need a birthday card, you know, switch it up, change the sentiment. And then there's this one that I didn't even use. Um, time has a wonderful way of showing us what really matters. Oh, that's a sweet one. I guess I used that on yesterday's card, but not today. Okay, there we go. Thank you. I'm glad you guys like it. I'm kind of, hold on, I'm kind of in a mess here. I can't see my iPad, so let me move that so I can see what you guys, <laughs> Lois, you're welcome. My job here is done. It's a really neat set. We have never had anything like this. Um, you know, sometimes we have sets of things that we've had before, you know, flowers or Valentine's or Halloween, you know, but specifically have we had an hourglass stamp set? I don't think so. So kind of cool. All right, let me grab, hold please, hold please. Let me grab my grid paper. I thought I had some clean grid paper, but I don't, so we'll just use this one. Okay, this next card came as a case, as an inspiration from a gorgeous card that I saw somewhere online by a demonstrator named and I'm probably going to butcher it. I wrote it down so I would, wouldn't forget. Anne-Marie Nussbaumer from Germany. Um, she made the, a background that looked like this. And I was, oh my gosh, I have to make that. She used different stamps and paper and stuff. But I had to make this purple and pink background. So, Anne-Marie, thank you very much. I'm going to show you exactly how to make that background. And this time, we're going to use the little tiny hourglass that's so cute. All right, the colors that you're gonna need for this are Starry Sky, Orchid Oasis, Gorgeous Grape, and Melon Mambo. A very, very beautiful color scheme, if I do say so. Okay, now, this is where you're gonna get your arm workout today. This is going to make your arms sore. Um, you're gonna need a piece of basic white, four by five and a fourth. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of adhesive on the back and stick it down to my grid paper. That's gonna hold it in place. And we're gonna start with Melon Mambo. And I've got my Melon Mambo blending brush. And again, start over on the grid paper so that you don't get a big blob of dark pink. All right, and just, we're gonna do kind of like the top half. And again, the intensity will change depending on how juicy your ink pad is. Okay, so now I'm gonna leave that open because we're not done. Now I'm gonna take Orchid Oasis and we're gonna come down here on the bottom and we're gonna start from the bottom and go up. I can tell that my Orchid Oasis ink pad is not nearly as juicy as my Melon Mambo. Oh, and my arm is already sore. I'm not kidding when I say this is an arm workout. I've, I've told you guys before when I was at the doctor a few years ago, she was listening with a stethoscope on my back and she started touching the right side of my back and she said, your muscle here is so much bigger than the other side. <laughs> I said, yes, that's my crafting muscle. Thank you very much. All right, I'm gonna take my Melon Mambo and blend that a little bit more there in the middle. So yes, our 
whatever arm you use for the big shot and blending and punching, I'm sure your muscle is bigger on that side. All right, now I'm gonna take Starry Sky and I'm just gonna do kind of the edges. I'm not gonna go up too much. And I'm also just gonna do a little bit up here. Eh, not too much. Actually, let's go like this. Okay, and then, oh, I'm gonna leave that open. Last but not least, I'm gonna grab some gorgeous grape and just add a little more purple in there like that, kind of over the top like that. Oh my gosh, I can't move my arm. And last but not least, I'm gonna bring it all together with my Melon Mambo one more time. The Melon Mambo just kind of smooths out all those purple and pink. Now I'm done because I can't move my arm, so we have to be done. My arm is like, there will be no more of that. Thank you very much. Now we're gonna do this magical technique that I showed you guys I don't know, a couple of weeks ago. It's very high tech. Dip your fingers into a bowl of water and just flick your paper. It's very technical, high, high level technique there. Okay, <laughs> now let it sit. Let it sit and let that ink do its thing. And while that's happening, let's get our other pieces. I have done some cutting ahead of time. I cut a um, Orchid Oasis Solid Heart and a Starry Sky Holy Heart, <laughs> a heart that has heart holes. And I'm just gonna very carefully glue that down. Don't put too much liquid glue or it'll just bleh all through your, your little heart holes. Um, we've got a basic black hourglass. And then we're gonna use that banner again. And this time I'm gonna stamp it in Orchid Oasis. And our sentiment this time says, I'll love you until the end of time. And we'll stamp that right there. Run it through. My comments are not staying up as well. I mean, at all. Valentine's card, Judy, yep, you're right. Lisa, Texas, all right. How, that's not very far from us, I don't think. Texas is very big, but I'm pretty sure Rock Springs is in our immediate area. I don't know where, my husband could probably tell you. It sounds like a place he's gone hunting before. All right, I'm gonna again attach this die. You know what, I need some new post-it tape. I have. I have worn that one out. Wow, I haven't used the heck out of this post-it tape. I need to order more than one at a time. There we go. My kids started school this week. I have two high schoolers. How did that happen, you guys? And they're driving themselves to school. It's very strange, but also very awesome at the same time. They seem pretty happy. My youngest came home first day of high school and I said, how was it? Fine. How was your, who, how are your teachers? Fine. What are your, you know, who, what are your teachers names? Who's your favorite? And she said, I don't know their names. I don't know. <laughs> she couldn't tell me one teacher's name. And she was like, I think it's something like with an M. I'm like, child, Learn your teacher's names. I mean, come on. And then she said, I'm sure if you have high schoolers, you know that the dress code is always an issue. And right now, everything, all the girls' tops are crop tops. All of them. And so my girls are buying crop tops and high-waisted jeans, and they're trying to get away with that. So she said, the very first day, I said, you better take a shirt with you in your backpack because I am not bringing you a change of clothes on the first day of school. She says, it'll be fine, Mom. So when she got home, she said, some girl did tell me in third period that I was um, 
probably out of dress code. And I said, some girl, who are you talking about? She goes, oh, you know, the teacher. <laughs> oh my gosh, my child. That third one, I tell you. Okay, so here we, oh wait, before we do this, I gotta, I gotta show you. Um, if you have three kids, you know what I'm talking about. Those third kids, those third borns are, they are something else. I am using this right here from Grassy Grove. And we're just gonna kind of create that horizon line across here with starry sky, all right? Then I've got two pieces of textured vellum and I'm gonna put them, te not textured vellum, vellum basics. Um, my mom says Rock Springs is west of Kerrville. Yeah, that sounds right. Like that's where they go hunting, I think, sometimes, Mom. Yeah, that's not very far from here. All right, I'm gonna put this one right here. Hey, Mom, I texted you this morning and you did not respond. So please respond to my text. Little family business here on Facebook Live. Um, I'm losing my train of thought. Okay, dimensionals. We're gonna put this one down right here, that heart, and then we'll take our little hourglass. Oops, been busy, mom says. Too busy, I guess, to answer my text, then it must just not be very important. Hmm, usually it's me that gets in trouble for not answering texts or phone calls. My mom thinks that she'll just call me because she doesn't want to deal with texting. I'm a Gen Xer and I don't want to talk on the phone. I only want to do texting. <laughs> I am using, um, what is this, Orchid Oasis metallic ribbon and I'm gonna, no, I'm not gonna do a double bow. We just need a little bow. Yes, mom, antiques. Yes, antiquing tomorrow, antiquing. Mm -hmm. My husband is going on another long hunting trip, this time in Colorado, um, in the woods, sleeping on the ground. So, well, so he says, you know, last time they ended up in a hotel with my brother. And so, he has to take his hunting gear up to my brother tomorrow because my brother's driving. I don't know, you guys don't care about this, but anyways, on the way there, my husband said, well, if you go, we could go to some antique stores. And I was like, okay, I might have to consider that. And then he said, your mom can come. And I was like, okay. So that's what our whole texting is about, you guys, because I know you wanted to know. Anyhow, we are Done. That's a pretty easy card. After your muscles have calmed down, you got to put some Bengay on your arm because it's so sore. <laughs> you can put your card together. Isn't that beautiful? They're all going to look different depending on, I mean, you could see I was really heavy up here with the ink and I got tired here. And uh, Valentine's card. Somebody said Valentine's card. That would make a very cute Valentine's card. Lisa, you've seen, Lisa works at a school. So many belly buttons exposed this week. Oh, girl. No, we were not allowed to do that in school. We were not. I know, these kids these days. <laughs> oh, you know, I, I don't even fight it very much. Um, it, it, it is a never, you know, part of the problem, you guys, those of you that have teenagers, you'll know, teenage girls, you'll know this. The, there's slim pickings out there for clothes that aren't, cropped i'm sure you guys have seen it on facebook it says to all the clothing designers out there there's a whole generation of women who want full length shirts please because <laughs> everything is cropped i don't know why i mean i guess it's the trend but i don't like it and i'm not wearing it and i really would rather my kids not be wearing it okay one more card and this time we're going a little bit masculine. I mean, I think I consider this masculine. It does have a flower, right? But it's a little more, you could give this to a guy or not. 
Um, I'm using another sneak peek product. This is one of my favorite products. Um, yeah, Christy, for sure, no, there was no bare midriffs. And you know what? They even sent us an infographic that had pictures with X's through it. And that was on there. But if you go to the school parking lot, you will see every kid wearing a crop top. I don't know. I don't know how to get away with it. Okay, anyhow, um, this paper is all about autumn. At, look at that. I love it. This is um, in the new catalog coming out on September 6th. So the front sides have these beautiful like fall photographs and then the back sides are metallics. And I just finished designing October's Club Create with this paper and it is absolutely beautiful. So we're using one of the metallics, one of the more orangey ones. I believe it's cop copper, copper clay. Clay copper, cop, what's, what's it called? Copper clay, did I even put that down? I may have put pecan pie. I did, it's not, oh no I did, copper clay. Okay, I did, I did, I did, I did it right. All right, so let's do this card. And it kind of looks like a shaker, but it is not a shaker. It's like a faux shaker. See how it has that frame around it? I'm calling it a faux shaker. I'm not sure if that's really a thing, but that's what I'm calling it. All right. Um, basic white, lemon lolly, and one more of our blending brushes. This time I'm just using a small one and we just want to go real light. So I'm going to run it off over here and then just start in the middle and work my way out. I just really want it to be soft and not too heavy. And I always go too far. I always put too much. So I'm going to do this and then I am going to stop and that's all I'm going to do. Okay, oh, <laughs> it would be helpful if you did it on the right piece. So do it on this piece, not this piece. We'll use this in a second. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's try that again. This is a country corner, basic white shape. And we'll do the same thing. It's the largest one, okay? There, now we did it right. So now on this, this piece is for our stamping. And I'm gonna stamp my large hourglass in memento black right there. And this time, I need to clean this or it's gonna be pink. This time we are using pecan pie ink. We'll put this one down here. Oh, I better clean this one too like that and then we'll use the other sand image that's not a heart like that all right and once again we're going to use our banner clean your stamp hi andrea thank you so much for the share i appreciate it and then some memento black right here Where's my sample? I can't even find it. Here it is. Okay, got to remember what I'm doing. And then this one is miss you every minute of every day. All right, A little die cutting. This card is the easy one of the day. Well, I mean, I think all of them are relatively easy. And we'll put this right here. Oh, I didn't color it. Hold on, we gotta color it. We'll do that when we come back when we're done cutting out. And put this, oops, turn the right direction. See how it just, it's just all funky. It's kind of warped. The, the die is warped because I've used it so much. The plates are warped. Everything is bendy. Overuse. Now let's pop those out. And oh, I didn't cut that very straight. Well, yeah, I guess it's okay. Yeah, it could have been better. Could have been better, Erica. All right, now we're not gonna redo it because we're just going with it. I'm gonna use pecan pie light to color this in. 
this little wood base and top. And instead of coloring the flower this time, we are going to cut out flowers using the new paper florist dies. Have you guys seen these in the catalog? They're standalone dies. And they make 3D flowers. So if you're into that, check these out. There's some really cool things here. Hopefully I will find some time to get to this and make some flowers, some 3D flowers, because it is a gorgeous set. But for this project, I just cut out these two right here and this stem. So we have lemon lolly and crumb cake. And on the crumb cake, I just want to add a little bit of texture. So I'm going to take my dark crumb cake and flick some ink on there like that just just to give it a little bit of interest okay and now i believe we're ready to put it all together so the frame on here so here's the large country corners shape and i took let me just show you if you're a visual learner you might want to see this i took the largest and the second largest and i cut out a frame like that now you'll have this inner piece right here that you can save and do something else with, but you'll also have this frame. And I'm gonna take our foam adhesive strips and put it along the edge. And you know, you don't have to be, we're not making a shaker, so I'm not worried about little bits falling out. Um, it doesn't have to be, you know, all the way around but put it on four sides. And then we'll peel that backing off. Thanks, Carol. Peel all that off. And let's make sure that we don't have adhesive sticking out and then we'll stick that down, matching the edges. that okay now we'll get our regular dimensionals and I'm gonna put one two three and we'll put that right in the middle of our frame get your banner and let's see I do have some many dimensionals I'm going to put the dimensionals on the ends. It's just going to kind of sandwich. Okay, come on. It's going to kind of sandwich that hourglass. Like that. And then for our flowers, I'll take a mini dimensional on that one. And you know what, before I do this, let's do these. We'll use glue dots. Glue dots are way less messy than glue. I'm a very messy glue user, so I like when I can use a glue dot instead. All right, and we're gonna put that flower there. And then I'm gonna just use a glue dot for this one too. And we'll put that one there like that. And then I've got a glitter, an adhesive backed glitter dot or gem or something. <laughs> the name is on the PDF. And there you go. Now let's put it all together. Here's a copper clay card base and the paper. Look, it has the fall behind it too. And that's pretty too. Um, but let's use the metallics. I'm gonna put that right there. And then we'll put some dimensional, I mean some uh, adhesive there in the middle and put that right there and we're done. Featuring that beautiful new All About Autumn designer series paper. 
And there you go. Thanks for the hearts, guys. I appreciate it. Oh, Cliffy, there you are. I showed your gorgeous gift at the beginning. You'll have to go back and watch. Thank you very much, Cliffy. It was very thoughtful of you. Um, all right, you guys. So here are the three projects we made today. If you would like these as a project kit, I will send them to you for free. Um, if you put in an online order by Monday at midnight, minimum order $35 using the host code. This unfortunately is unorderable right now, um, but I feel certain there are other things in the store that you might want to get. Um, and remember, if you don't have these dies, and, or if you don't have this bundle, you can always use something else, use the kit for other things. It wouldn't hurt my feelings. Oh, let me show you the other card. Here's the card I showed yesterday on my blog. These are so pretty. These little, um, little baby um, hourglass. There you go. Beautiful, isn't it? I like that color combination. All right, you guys, I will see you next week. Next week, I will have three projects featuring the Curved Occasions stamp set. That's the one in the, towards the back of the new holiday catalog that has the roller skates and the disco ball. It's so, so cute. So I will see you next Friday at two o'clock. Don't forget, um, there are some deadlines. If you wanna sign up for the shares, Tuesday's the last day. And if you wanna to subscribe to um, September's Club Create, Thursday is that last day. And the details for those are on today's PDF second page. All right. Thanks guys for joining me. I'll see you next week. Bye.